where we saw some very seasonable temperatures for these past 24 hours last night in the 40s for those overnight lows in this morning in the 50s 60s back to the 70s close to hitting some 80s across the area most of us maxed out in those upper 70s though and starting to cool down just a little bit as we've passed sunset and we're heading into these overnight hours recapping our Saturday though again very close to average not only last night differing by one degree, one degree above that average. We saw 49 degrees last night, but this afternoon as well, we only increased to 78 degrees, which is only three degrees above that average of 75 degrees. And very similar temperatures are expected for tomorrow as well as we finish our weekend. Low current temperatures in downtown San Angelo, seeing a couple of clouds throughout the sky, 69 degrees as of right now, 44 degrees for that dew point with that humidity rate sitting at 40%. And those winds right now out of the southeast at 11 miles an hour. Those will start to increase though over these next several hours across the area and we're going to continue to see some hefty winds. We saw some slight winds across the area over these past 24 hours, uh, especially for western parts of the area. Lots of 30 miles an hour, 36 miles an hour in Ozona, but we're going to be seeing even stronger winds looking ahead to the rest of tonight our Sunday as well as our Monday. We've actually seen a little bit of a calming in those winds uh, as compared to what we saw throughout our afternoon today. Uh, looking across the area, very calm winds for eastern parts of the area, still seeing some slight winds for western parts of the area. But again, looking ahead to tomorrow, we're all going to be seeing those increased winds across the Concho Valley. Those current temperatures across the Concho Valley, lots of 60s, actually all of us in those 60s, 63 degrees in Coleman, as well as Brady, 62 degrees as in Mason, 66 degrees in El Dorado, 67 degrees in Sonora, a very small temperature spread across the area, all of us in those 60s. We do see a couple of 50s and 70s zooming out across the entire state. 50 degrees in Amarillo right now, 58 degrees in Wichita Falls and off towards the south, just a little bit warmer, 70 degrees in Laredo and 72 degrees off west in El Paso. But the rest of us seeing those 60s, very similar temperatures across the state as compared to what we're seeing here in the Concho Valley. Through these next 12 hours, we'll see very similar temperatures to actually what we're seeing right now. We won't really cool down all too much, a degree or so every hour down to the 50s for those overnight lows and that forecast for tonight 55 degrees those cloudy skies will continue across the area winds out of the south southeast at 10 to 25 miles per hour gusts increasing to about 35 miles an hour through the rest of tonight and looking ahead to tomorrow that's when we're going to be seeing those very steady winds across the area very windy temperatures very similar to what we saw today 79 degrees for that afternoon high windy and we'll start the morning with some cloudy conditions but those clouds will clear as we go into our afternoon hours winds out of the south southwest at 25 to 30 miles an hour but gusts close to 45 miles an hour and some of us reaching 50 miles an hour for those gusts for those afternoon hours and that daily planner for tomorrow again those winds start to increase even as we're waking up 8 a.m. seeing those winds out of the south at 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Temperatures in the 50s, very cloudy out there, but going in towards noon, those clouds start to head out of the area, seeing partly cloudy skies, still windy south southwesterly winds at 30 miles an hour and gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Temperatures in the 60, 64 degrees for noon. And as we reach all the way to 4 p.m., windy conditions really sticking around, very sunny across the area, south southwesterly winds at 30 miles an hour and gusts close to 40 miles an hour temperatures into the 70s very similar to what we saw today especially for those afternoon highs and recapping what we're going to be seeing over these next seven days could be seeing some isolated showers tomorrow night windy for monday as well and those winds come back by the end of the week